What was your favorite thing being a boss mom? The kids. The kids. I yeah. Know, you know? I loved all the kids so much. Yes. So how long did it take you before you could adopt them? It was right around two years for the adoption to finally go through. My kids actually moved after a few months with me to um, family member, but yeah. it didn't end up working out. So they were gone from me for six months and it was torture. I kept contact with them the whole time and they finally was able to come back. So once that happened, we were able to start working towards adoption. She's doing the hard job. She's posted 17 kids, I think, so far, and adopted too. So for us to come in and do something like this for her, it is amazing. It takes a village, and we truly want to be a village to our moms who are doing really hard work. So I joy that she could allow us to be here. I joy that she could let us in some way to do something special for her. So this is really cool. What is something that like you would not want to leave? Uh... All of it? Like, everything. <laughs> like, yeah. like my desk or my monitor or something like that. So I really love it in that. If we went one of the sports themes and not all the sports themes, which one would you pick the most? Football? I want to go football fan, but I really love playing soccer. Okay. For a while. Did I hear a dog under the bed? Yeah, she like moved under there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So do we need room for the dog? Do we? I want to close it out. <laughs> okay, so you don't like the dog under the bed? I don't like the bed. But you like that Okay, cool. I'll stay away. Okay. Full queen. This your baby? Yeah. What's her name? Mocha. Is she a permanent fixture in here? Do we need a bed for Mocha? Kind of. She's a non-negotiable. Yeah, she likes Does to her stay crazy in here. Uh, yeah, but like she sleeps in the bed in my mom's room. She <laughs> really likes to sleep in the cage unless we put her in there so she'll stay. She's so cute. We have an opportunity to show children that they're loved and worthy and that they deserve to have nice things. By gifting them the rooms that we're able to do, it's just a, a blessing to them, a blessing to the family, and a blessing to us. Is important to you. You, you like yeah. legs, and Yeah, I use that stuff every day. Yeah. Teenagers are fun. I love having teenagers. It's a lot different than when they were little. Right. Like now we just like do fun things together. It's like hanging out, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Now like I might have to watch and make sure I got all the snacks for Pat. Correct. It's nice to see them like be their little humans. Like yeah. independent and, and bring their friends. And yeah. That is really cool to, to, to watch them grow. Yeah. You know? They're really growing up a lot. Wow, so these go like in four wheeler, like yeah, yeah. You drive them basically everywhere you want. Wow. Road in the woods, dirt. In the woods. I like the idea in the woods. It's like a little engine just right there. <laughs> <laughs> right here. So we gotta keep it under here so it don't get rain on. Right. The family lives here, you know? But today's a good day because she's at work and the boys are at school. So it makes it easy for us to come and do whatever we need to do and then get out of here as soon as they get here. Making something pretty takes time. I'm here with Summer and her team is doing amazing work. She is sparkling to prepare so when the painters come, everything is covered. What are you doing? 
and Scr sanding. Sanding. sanding the putty for the, putties. the seams so it's just seamless. Yes. So when the painters come and do all their work, we've kind of covered. So we're cutting down paneling MDF sheets to give this boy an accent wall. Right now he doesn't have anything and it just needs something to make it more cozy and give it a different texture in the room. And this is a really inexpensive way to get it done. This is this comes as is. And basically you just cut it down to shape and throw it up. It's really wonderful working with Sama. She knows what she's doing. She is on top of things. And she has a team that really is doing amazing work. This is wonderful and we're excited to be here to do something really unique for a family that deserves it. So we get to paint the house before we come and do the room makeovers because paints get to dry, but also we get to clean up, you know, a lot of things, which we've already done. So right now I'm here to check on the painters and see how far they've gone and see what else is left to do. And so we can get our hands together and do the work. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how the painting is going. Wow, good work. Wow. So since all we do, we do it one day. It's really hard to paint and then do the room makeover. So what we do is basically, as I said, is we come and paint a week before or a few days before. In this case, today is what? It's Thursday. So they're painting Thursday and then we're coming on Sunday to do the whole thing. So we can't wait to show you. It's going well so far and I'm liking it. We can't wait to come here and do the amazing for these boys. I mean, they're, they're good kids to know that they have forever family and we could do just this. For those we are helping, we wanna make sure that we tell them that truly they are seen, they are wonderful. And we're just coming here to come alongside. You know, I love the African saying, takes a village, it really takes a village. And we wanna let this single mom to know she's not alone, but we're here to do this for her. So, before this thing gets to my brain, I gotta walk out, but it's looking good. Hey, it's me. How are you? Oh, you're gonna leave now? Okay. <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> Jim is replacing that fan, so that should go well. Yes. Hopefully. It will. Yes. So that's what we're here to do. They put new closets, uh, they put all the needs, so we're doing the final touch before tomorrow. So that's what we're here trying to do the little we can do to make sure that tomorrow is going so smooth. So, hang in there. You see those in need and you know you can help and it's just amazing transformation that they can live in. Just have a little nicer space to share when they come home from school or from work. What was your take the first time you met the kids? They were just very well-mannered boys and it was just something that you could tell that they would appreciate and were excited for and so it was just awesome to come in and hopefully not only change their rooms, but just add to their space so they still feel like it's their space. A round of applause to single moms. I'm not a single mom, but I can see that Hannah is doing a great job. And again, these boys are so well-mannered. It takes a village and we're now our village helping her. Just always ask if you need help, and but she's doing a great job. Not every family is bad. Not every parent is bad just because they're kids in and foster care. Mm -hmm. And sometimes also to say, sometimes we need someone to come alongside just so they can stand on their feet. Yeah, you know? that's and true. it it's sometimes quick for us to judge, you know, hey, how dare them? Oh, they are horrible parents. No, yeah. they are not horrible parents. Yeah. You know, you and I have a resource, you and I have yeah. someone to come alongside. Yeah. These people don't have. And a lot of times it's it's people that have grown up in the system. Correct. And it's just a cycle. Yes. So they never learn the tools that they needed to be that good parent. Good parents, yeah. People ask me like, how can we stop foster? I'm like, there's one way by really stopping the cycle of the kids who grew up in a foster care mm -hmm. to not repeat what their parents mm -hmm. went through. Yeah, to give them that support as they get older into adulthood. Yes. 
Foster care is so essential to, especially today. My own husband was adopted and was in foster care for a short amount of time, so it's very necessary and very wonderful. It's such a great experience for the boys that they can do this and get through it. Yes, yes. but they are loved and seen that someone out there yes. was able to give them a, yes, an the opportunity. Yes, the people that do be... it are so giving. Yeah. It's been such a rewarding experience to try to get these boys into such a great space a space that will grow with them. It'll be a great place for them to study and just kind of chill and relax. I'm excited for Devin and Darren to see their new rooms. They're gonna love them and they deserve them because they are special and they are worthy. Well, we're grateful that you got to help and we can't wait to show the boys the amazing and wonders you did for their room. So, thank you. Yes, enjoyed it. In your room, like, what, what has been like the most like, whoa, I had no idea. Is it really that part right there? That part. So these are, these are bookcases and this is a dresser. And so I wanted to give you a built-in, but I just got a piece of wood and made that the desktop. These and then they, no, it does, it's all stationary, it's all but, stationary. but like it's a lot of different pieces to make one. I think the posters are good because those are like $5. Those, they look like I know, these are, at least like $25. <laughs> yes. So this is your room, right? Yes, sir. You love it? I love it. Oh, yes, absolutely. What's one thing that is the most shocking? Sure. Probably the bed. The I bed. I see if there were lights on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really comfortable. You're gonna sleep real like a baby tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes. For mom, what do you, what do you say? What what do you think? I love it. I love all of it. Yes. It all looks really beautiful and modern, and it's perfect for them. Yes, I'm sure the next few months you'll be like, put your things back where they need to. Be. I will. <laughs> I'm gonna come and visit. That's life. <laughs> yes. If I can lay on my bed without like without. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure, but it's, it's really a joy. It's, it's fun. It's really been fun to, uh, to have you guys. Ooh. Look how dark it gets. Yeah. See? Oh, gonna love that. Look, yeah. it's, it's day and it's like night. We didn't have your lights if you wanted to add them back. We got you some new ones for those too. Lights? So if you wanted to add them oh, back, thank uh, you. we do have those for you too. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Yeah. I there you go. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I, <laughs> I think I would like them closed. <laughs> yes. You're a typical teenager, of course. Yes. You know? Yes, I brought that. That's from my kids. We make so those. Kids. Yeah, so we make those. You can open it, pull it out. That's Simba, our dog. That's who? Do we have a dog. dog. Yeah, it's called Simba. Yes, he looks like that. So he has words of affirmation, you know? Yeah. You know, you're loved, you matter, you're special, all those words. So we thought we can bring you one, you know? To have, yeah. Appreciate that. You also have one in your room. I, I was looking at it when it was. Like, what is that? Yes, you know. Thank you so much. Yes, for yes, yes, yes. Appreciate you. Welcome. Things. We we just love doing it, and yeah. love that it was still your spaces, oh, but yeah. just more functional and you know maybe a little more grown up and mature and works yeah. a little better for y'all, but. It was for me. Y'all had good stuff, so it was fun to just kind of work with what you had too. Mm. Yeah, it was perfect. Good. I love the Panther theme too. Huh? I love the Panther theme. Yeah, yeah. and the tickets. Yeah, <laughs> the ticket, ticket my favorite part. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> the bed. The the yeah, that's good. This has been a great family to work with. The two boys are just the sweetest. Their mom is awesome. She's so brave. She's fostered 11 kids, and we're so thankful for what she's done, that she's adapted these two boys and given them a forever home, and now they have a great room to call their forever room. We're super excited for them, and we wish nothing but the best for their future. I hope this can be an inspiration to somebody. Yes. You know, to see 
that teenage boys aren't scary. <laughs> They're not scary. They're my favorites, yeah. you know? They put me down, they humble me, yeah. they feed themselves, they dress themselves, yeah. they even take themselves to school. They can reach the top shelf if you yes. can't get to it. <laughs> uh -huh. Tell, I mean, mine is taller than me, so I mean, <laughs> right, I, I'm me told too. how short I am every morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. Come on, you can get up there. Yeah, yeah. that sounds like mine too. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if I had it, experienced it myself i might be scared too right. you know mm. i would encourage anybody to do it because you get um a strong support system mm -hmm. from your social workers and from your foster community yeah so you have that support and you have resources that you need as long as you can provide that safe space then that's really all you need right and it can be intimidating especially when you're doing it by yourself but Hey, you gotta be tough. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta be Wake tough to be a parent. Yes, it doesn't matter how. Yeah, it, it's it's a it's a journey uh, that is hard, but yeah. also worth it. Oh know? yeah. Uh, that I think they have made me a better human being than I was. Of course. Yeah, they have. <laughs> you know, they put me in my place. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, they taught me a lot. <laughs> they do. They they teach me a lot. They. Yeah. You know, my kids actually inspire me with, you know, their hearts. Yes. How forgiving they can be, how mm -hmm. compassionate Resilient. they can be. Yeah. yeah. To see what they have overcome, but still be no more and joyful. Yeah. You know, when I'm in bad place, I'm like, wait a minute, my kid has gone a hundred times this. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's so fun. So thank you for sharing and letting me come and join your family. I think you for coming out here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's been you. fun. Boys, sleep well tonight. Enjoy the beds. I hope you guys have fun. Enjoy the rooms. Thanks for all you guys did today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for everything. If you have a teenager that you're fostering, we would love to hear from you, you know, because teenagers, their bedrooms are their sanctuary. So we want them to have a room that's important to them with things that they love and that makes them feel special. You can go to our website, which is www.homesweethopenc.org, and you can fill out an application. Or if you know a family that's fostering a teenager, you can go and fill that application out on behalf of them. You can nominate that family to receive a room, just like the ones that these two boys have received today.